channel. It's Friday, favorite time. At work, and I thought I would film this really quick. So, pardon moi if my makeup looks a wreck. I did my makeup at like five something this morning, and it's now a little after five. So, twelve hours later, this is what. I hope you guys had a great week. Things here were slow but busy. If that makes sense, I'll let you guys know that my Friday favorites are gonna be a little bit different going forward. It's actually an idea that I had heard Summer from the Musings of Moi talk about recently in one of her um, weekly favorites. I'm gonna try and stick to five products or less in my Friday I'm favorite. I'm be able to do my monthly favorites for you. So I'm gonna try and keep my Friday favorites shorter and with less products. I want these to be kind of mini reviews and they don't need to be like, 10 things that I'm loving each week. You know, and if I wanna share more, I can share more in my monthly favorites because a lot of these things do carry over from either the week before and whatever, and I just wanna limit it. I want these videos to kind of be a little bit shorter for you guys. I do wanna talk about something that wasn't so successful for me this week, but it's not a 100% complete fail. And it's the Makeup Geek Vegas Lights palette. Maybe I'm in the minority here where it just doesn't wow me. Yes, the colors are stunning. Yes, they're pigmented. Yes, they're of great quality. They blend well. They perform well. I just, to like, blow my mind. And it doesn't. Although it's beautiful and these colors are right up my alley, do I think that you need to stop what you're doing and buy it? Absolutely not. So I just wanted to sh get that out of the way first that this wasn't, it, it wasn't earth shattering for me. On the flip side of that, the Makeup Geek Pigment in Poker Face did blow my mind. I'm wearing it today, so as you guys can see, after 12 hours, it still has a lot of pigmentation and it still wears rather nicely. Here's what it looks like. I, mean, I just tapped my finger in there and there's the swatch. If you're wanting to get something from the new collection and you're kind of, you know, unsure of whether you want to go the palette route or the pigment route, I would pick up the pigments. Um, in my opinion, um, they're a little bit more of a wow factor than the palette is. Nice to just throw on my lid, blend it out with my bronzer, and this has kind of been what I've been going for more often than not this week. Another so. favorite this week is my Chanel Blush in Innocence. Now this is part of the fall line, so if you can get your hands on it, I highly suggest it. Looks very pink in the pan. It even swatches pink. Swatch it on your skin, it just gives more of that mauve to it that I think is very complimentary to a lot of skin tones and really, really appropriate as we transition from summer into fall. So it's definitely one of those colors that will work for a lot of people and because it is part of a fall collection, I don't know the availability near you. If you can get your hands on it, I highly suggest it. What I wanna talk to you guys about is the It Cosmetic CC Cream. Now I know I've talked about this gem a million trillion times, I feel like. Um, I'm not necessarily talking to you about the product itself, more so the application that I used this right week. With me, you saw me use my Diva Beauty, the, the flat buffer brush, and I, and I buffed this all over my skin. Well, as I mentioned in that video, I was running late, as I've been running late all week. So I haven't really, I've been kind of just slapping my makeup on. And so I've been applying this with my fingers. I like the way that it's turned out. No, for some reason the coverage seems a little bit more full when I use my fingers. And especially when I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to um, you, you know, use a concealer. Using my fingers with this has been really amazing. So as always, loving the CC cream, but I'm really loving applying it with my fingers. So this week that was definitely a favorite method of application. And then the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is this olive oil salt scrub from Norwex. If you're not familiar with Norwex, um, it's one of those companies that's sold by individual sales representatives. A friend of mine is a rep for Norwex. She sells it. You know, you can do home parties, online parties, things like that. I'll leave her the link to her website below if you're interested. You're more towards like all natural, you know, free of chemicals 
things like that they do a lot of like household cleaning she pot. had gifted this to me because she swears by it she's like sarah you will love this it is amazing and i'm like yeah okay whatever i'm not one to like go head over heels for a scrub I was using the tree hut before and I thought that was great. This stuff is amazing. It's for all skin types. The cool thing is um, it is extremely chunky, thick chunks of salt. So you're going to be able to really, really, really exfoliate your skin with the dead sea salt. And then the, the olive oil in it just, and the vitamin E, it just really penetrates your skin and just leaves your skin feeling super smooth. I don't know, you guys. I've used scrubs in the tail. I've used this. It is a huge, huge difference. And it's organic olive oil, so it's good for you. Um, I will say this, when you use it, be very careful because it is oily. The bottom of your shower can get slippery, so that is the only downfall. But I will say, because of the oil, it leaves your skin feeling saturated and moisturized. I used it before I've self-tanned, um, but I almost like to use it the night before I self-tan, so I'll use it and then the next night I'll self-tan just because really sloughs off that dead skin cell, those dead skin cells and really moisturizes my skin. And then when I go to use the self-tanner the next night, it just, I don't know, my skin just, it just, it works like a dream. I don't know the price of it. Your link below. If you're interested in checking it out, follow the link. Buy some if you want. Don't if you know. I don't get anything from it. It's not like I'm having an online party. It's just the direct link to her direct sales. If you have any questions, let me know. I can ask her and we can go from there. Hopefully you guys had a great week. Hopefully you have something on the books for this weekend. That'll be fun. My husband has to work. I have a laundry list of things I need to do, including laundry. You enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.